हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इन ट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम नाउ लेट्स चेक वॉट इज द एंड यूजर एक्सपीरियंस when they are going to perform the autopilot now consider a scenario where user is now performing an autopilot and they are currently on out of box experience window the very first window they are going to get during out of box experience is the reason window where they have to select the reason as per their requirement and then they will get a second window where they need to select the language and the third window is the keyboard layout where you need to configure the primary as well as secondary keyboard layout so these are the three windows which we cannot customize during autopilot and after that we can customize many things so now once this user is con uh, already configured their keyboard layout then machine is going to check whether the machine is having an internet access or not so if user is already on hardware or or using a ethernet can, uh, cable then uh, the, we will not get this wifi window otherwise we will we'll get a wifi window where we need to provide the username and password so that we can get the internet access once this step is done then machine is going to check against the autopilot services and see if there is any if this machine is an autopilot machine and if this machine is on autopilot machine machine is going to download the deployment profile and configure the out of out of box experience as per the configuration in deployment profile so once the out of box experience window is configured user will get a, a, a similar kind of window so this is a uh, as already onboarding screen where they can uh, they can verify that they are connected with the correct domain okay and they need to provide their user name and password in this window and once they are going to provide this machine is going to join in azure ad and enroll in intune once the machine is enroll in intune and we already deployed all the uh, deployments related to device as well as user from intune you will see the this enrollment status page screen where they can track down the deployment with respect to user deployment as well as the account deployment once the enrollment status page is completed now user can log into the, the windows using their already credentials and they can start their work now in the previous slide we already talked about what or, uh, what screen user will able to see while performing the autopilot but now let's talk about what all they are not able to see or the back end process involved in the autopilot so we know that when the user is on out of box experience window and going to perform the autopilot they have to configure the language they need to configure the reason and they need to configure the keyboard layout optionally they can configure the secondary keyboard layout and if the user is already using using ethernet cable for internet access then they will not be prompted to provide their uh, wifi password and credentials for accessing the internet now after this when the machine is having internet access machine is going to check against the windows autopilot and see if there is an autopilot profile or uh, autopilot profile deployed on the device or not if the machine is on autopilot machine in a uh, windows machine is going to download the autopilot profile at the same time machine is also going to download the zero day patch as well as if there is any autopilot up update available for that machine machine is also going to download that update okay and machine is going to install those update and then configure the out of box experience as per the deployment profile configuration if we already configured the specific naming convention in the deployment profile then machine is going to rename the device accordingly and then machine is going for a reboot so once the machine is back and online they will again check whether the internet connectivity is there or not if you already configured the uh, license agreement in our deployment profile uh, then user will not able to see this ulax uh, license agreement uh, page then they are directly landing to this azure active directory onboarding page where they have to provide the username and password once they are providing the username and password machine is going to 
ज्वाइन इन एजोर एडी एजोर एडी एंड एंड्रोल इन इन ट्यून वंस द मशीन इज एंड्रोल इन इन ट्यून देन यूजर इज डायरेक्टली मूविंग टू दिस एंड्रोल स्टेटस पेज वेयर दे कैन वेयर वेयर दे कैन ट्रैक ऑल द डिप्लॉयमेंट रिलेटेड टू डिवाइस बेस एज वेल एज द यूजर बेस once this is done user can log into their uh, in their windows using their azure active directory password username and password i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video